So guys from the channel, welcome to another video, today what I'm bringing you here is a chopper transformer and flyback tester, it's both at the same time. As you can see I've already set up the project here, I'll show you how I did it, I'll show the layout as I always show, this project here was for a subscriber, I bring this content for you, I leave the layout and scheme for you to download and do it on the bench so help me, the invoice price is just leave the like and subscribe to the channel that is helping me a lot, so let's check the list of materials to be able to do this project here and follow up on the video. Here are the components of the project that I'm going to do for a subscriber to the channel, there are two more projects of his that he ordered with me, I'll do it and bring them to you okay. So here are all the components, I'm not going to show each one otherwise the video will be too long and the guys will jump, since then I ask you not to skip the video, watch it until the end to help me and also for you don't miss any details and what I'm talking about, this is very important, okay. So here are all the components, from the two projects, what I'm going to bring you I'll give you a spoiler it will be the MOSFET tester and also this chopper transformer tester that can also test flyback transformers, right? So it was the two projects he ordered with me, I'll take advantage of it and record it for you. Here are the components, transistors, several components for the two projects, and what surprised me was the size of this lead here. <laughs> On the site where I bought it, here in Brazil, it was very small and when it arrived here at home, the lead, it looks like a car headlight, it was my fault, I think the right lead would be 2 millimeters. this one is 10 millimeters. But as in the image it seemed to be a common size so I thought I was buying the right lead and I ended up getting these big ones. So guys, it's all here, I'm going to show you the project in the sprint layout, very cool and then let's follow up on the drawings I drew of the tracks of our chopper transformer tester, right? So let's go. So here is the project, here it will only use 3 resistors, MPSA 42, BC337 and again MPSA42, here this flyback and chopper tester, it will work as follows, when the light is on when you are measuring the inductor, that has an inductance, there is nothing shorted at the output and primary input of the transformers. The light will stay on indicating that that inductor you measured is okay, that transformer, now if you measure that transformer if you are in doubt if it's good or not, it can be a pulse transformer, an inductor, anything and the light goes out, it means that the transformer part is shorted, because if you take a transformer and close a short on its output you will reset this inductance, so if you don't have inductance the light will go out, so how can you see it here, it was very compact, this board was 53mm by 35mm right. It will be a very small project, here as you can see, Claws will leave two wires to be able to measure the components there, to be able to grip the transformer and inductor terminals there, so this layout was like this, later I'll explain it better in the schematic part, here it is on top, so now I'm going to move to the board and then I've been soldering and drilling the components okay, so let's go. So guys, I finished the plaque here, the top silk wasn't perfect, it doesn't look good like that I do, it's really good that the factories use lasers, and the whole top silk is much more accurate. I've finished the board, I've drilled it, what's left now is just soldering the components so we can go to the final test in practice, so now I'm going to solder the components, take advantage that the copper is perfect, I'll solder everything at once, when I've finished I'll be back with you. So guys, here the project is finished, it's another subscriber project as I said at the beginning of the video, this one is a chopper transformer tester like this one, also toroidal transformers and flyback transformer too, so before me show you how it works, it is very basic, there are these three transistors here that are self oscillating. And when you are going to measure a coil or transformer winding you have to have an inductance, if you don't have this inductance, what will happen, it's as if it were a short on the terminals, so this light will have to go out, so guys I didn't use that lead there, it was too big for this project, it wouldn't even fit here, in the part 1 drew there in the sprint layout, it would hit this 100 nano capacitor here, so I put a small LED here and it was really cool in the project, so it was very compact. Here the part of the tracks is a bit oxidized because I finished this project it takes a while and I don't understand. I varnish the tracks always oxidizes, the link to download the project is there in the description, it wasn't a project I invented, it's already out there on Google so I just simply set it up for the client, right? So I'm already warning you, so let's go to the test, use a common 9V battery here, 
This one alias should be about 8 V and a half, it must be very low, but it will do the test for you, so it's very simple, just you connect here on the battery part of course, and I'll put it, this one is from a switched source that I'm doing a project for you and soon I'll release it on the channel, right? Without warning without anything I'll be coming soon, so subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put it here in the primary of this transformer, the operation is very simple as I had told you, if the transformer had a shorted winding, this light has to go out, remembering that the color of the LED you can put whatever you want, I'll leave it on description for you to download, in the link shortener that I put. If you have difficulty downloading I'll leave the link to a video below the download teaching how to download through the shortener step by step, it's very easy. So let's simulate here that at the transformer output there was a short so this light has to go out, let's find here what part of the coil is, as you can see the light went out, so if there was a short in this transformer the light would stay off and then the transformer is shorted, it also measures on the board. If you are a TV source a common switched power supply and you want to measure if the transformer is okay it has to stay like this with the light on, if there is any shorted it will go out, let me find some winding here, this winding here matches this one, this transformer I took from a switched DVD source, so there are several voltages here, several windings, so if it was shorted here the light would no longer go turn on, you would know since the transformer is shorted, here is the feedback part of the CI, so if it was shorted also the light will go out look. It's a very simple tester with few components, it's a huge instrument for your bench, I made it here for the subscriber but I'll do it for me, I already have the layout, because this helps a lot guys, so you don't need to disassemble transformers and find out if there are any shorted turns or shorted windings, so this helps, it's a very simple project that makes the technician on the bench a lot easier. I bought these alligator claws for him because they have transformers that the terminal is longer, or if we'll measure those automotive switched power supply cables and leave it in your secondary 100 or 120A, then several copper wires come out in parallel, it will be able to take the tin part quiet, if you want for small transformers, so you can buy another alligator clip more small and thin just to pick up at the terminals and that's it. So it was like this guys, a Deora project, I ask your like to give me a boost, that you subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, it's a simple project but it makes a lot of difference on your bench. Like the video, let the like, your likes are very important for the channel to grow in order to engage more people, the invoice price is these guys, as you can see I leave the projects free, I don't charge anything right? But that's it guys, another successful project, big hug, stay with God, and see you in the next video guys.